Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Big JB for Morning Thunder. I just want to welcome all the new uh, followers on my channel, all the new subscribers. Thank you for, for subscribing. Uh, I know that a lot of you found me through Metal Jesus Rocks and the uh, game quest that I did. Um, I had a great time with those guys, and uh, I get to do stuff with uh, Metal Jesus regularly. If you haven't checked out my other videos, definitely do so. Um, but it's great to have you here on the channel. Uh, as you can probably see by my video history, I have not been updating that often. Uh, I used to do it every day, just kind of a thoughts thing. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of funny because you, you start walking to work and do my filming, and then I get to the office and, you know, sit down and start doing some editing, and work just kind of takes over. So I've got to figure out a better way of, of doing that because um, I do miss doing them every day. Sometimes my head is just empty and I don't have much to talk about. Um, but I realized that I hadn't done, um, hadn't done an update um, on a little... Um, for a little while, anyway, on uh, on how my, my wife's cancer stuff is going. So her surgery went great. Uh, she came through with flying colors. It was really incredible. The uh, doctor, and I mentioned before, he's not a real emotive person. He came out of surgery. It was uh, about four hours uh, of surgery. He came out and he was just thrilled. In fact, those were the, that was the word that he used, that he was thrilled. Uh, and so that's kind of a big deal uh, for this guy. And um, so my in-laws were there. So my sister-in-law, she was visiting from out of town, actually out of the country. Uh, her husband was there, which I didn't expect. That was a nice treat. Um, my mother-in-law was there. My brother came to visit um, while we were there. And we just sat around and talked and played cards and had lunch and, you know, just did whatever we could to kill the time. Um, the hospital stay after the surgery was about four or five days, and she seemed to do really well. Um, the, she has an incision from just above her belly button um, all the way down her abdomen, and um, that, you know, obviously is going to take time to heal. It's, it's you know, we had to wait um, four to five weeks before uh, she could start her, her next round of chemotherapy um, because we got to get the, let the body you know, get some time to heal, the body's got to start recuperating, because if you're smacking it with chemotherapy and it's hitting like your bone marrow, um, which is, you know, a big part of your immune system, then your body's going to focus on replenishing that instead of necessarily uh, taking care of external scars or cuts or, and that kind of stuff. So they want to give it four to five weeks to let that stuff heal. And she healed, she was healing really well. Um, the, the time before we got out of the hospital, those days were spent recuperating, um, trying to get up and walk, um, learning how to sit without using your abdominal muscles, learning how to lay down without your abdominal muscles, that was a challenge. Uh, and during that time when she was uh, at home, um, I had learned how to kind of anchor myself and, and she just grabbed my hand and then kind of, I pulled her up so she wasn't, you know, using her um, abdominal muscles. Um, and so it was interesting kind of learning how we, you know, how do we do this. Um, she... Uh, what she she you know I've and I've I've said it before she's amazing she came through really well um, and then <clears throat> we start the next round of uh, we started the next round of chemotherapy not that long ago my hair is uh, growing back her hair has grown back very well in the uh, well it's been seven eight weeks now since uh, since the surgery I think that's right um, and uh, it's we went to see the doctor yesterday, and he was uh, she was actually pretty impressed with how uh, how well uh, and how much hair, how well it's grown back, and how much hair she has. Um, but sadly, it's starting to fall out again because she's doing her hopefully final rounds of chemo right now. Um, it's really hard on her. The the process is a different medication, and um, it's uh, a different method of infusion, and it's designed to kill cancer, and that's what we want, right? I mean, it's it's um, they go through this horribleness or have cancer and it, it, it is easy to say uh, you know rather go through the you know the awfulness than than to have cancer but I'm also not the one going through the treatment and I know for a fact that she has really had a hard time with wanting to go like this this upcoming treatment that we're gonna have um, or we I say we because I'm, I'm there but the upcoming treatment that she's gonna have um, is uh, two medications, and it those one of those is really hard on her system. So, I um, you know I know that that could be rough after you know after treatment um, for her, and she knows it, and she and doesn't she's not looking forward to it. She wants to avoid it at, at all costs, which is understandable. You know I don't yeah I don't I, I've said it before. She's she's Sheila. I mean she's is uh, is amazing. 
Um, I love the woman dearly, and I think she's she's gone through a lot. But um, I know that we've kept our, our positive attitude. Our faith remains intact, and uh, you know, and we we are keeping our eye on a long, healthy future. You know, her doctor has said that his goal is to have her cured. Um, and if not cured, then living a long, healthy life with this in remission. So the long, healthy life is the part that we're focused on. Um, and, and we really, really believe that, um, that that's going to happen. So um, that's how it's going. So her final, uh, her final, hopefully final, final uh, cancer treatment will be on December 14th, um, which is nice that it'll be done before Christmas. It'll be done before her birthday. So nice little, uh, little gifts for her there. Um, so for me, I got to go to BlizzCon, which was amazing. I'm going to hopefully put up a BlizzCon video with some photos and pictures. I know it's been about a week since it happened, but um, I, you know, I want to just do a, you know, morning thunder on it because it was an amazing experience. I loved it. Um, she had people who were nearby and who could take care of her. And as a caregiver, I needed time um, as a break. And um, it's easy as a caregiver to either isolate and withdraw from everybody except and then just focus on you know doing what you have to do to take care of the loved one that you're taking care of um, or um, it's you know just really easy to um, just not take care of yourself um, and I need to do more of that I had a blast at BlizzCon it was a great trip it was very badly needed and that's the kind of stuff that I need to do is hang out and spend time with with friends and, and um, try to get out get out more um, I, I think I'm doing so so far I think I'm doing pretty good um, but it's you know it's always a always a challenge to keep that up when you're when you're the primary caregiver so I know that everybody's looking forward to this phase of our life being done it will be you know basically half of our year this year will be have been you know, just revolving around this this thing which is awful um, you know it is what it is I can't change anything you know about that but um, it's it's just incredible to think about that by the time we're all done with this, you know, it will have been from June to December, and that's half of this year. So the year has had a lot of ups and downs, and I'm looking forward to doing kind of a, a recap on the year, because um, there's been just amazing describes the entire year from a variety of perspectives, you know, that word can have several different meanings, so I'm going to, I want to do a, a year in review, kind of, to talk about just how awesome things are the amazing things that have happened and then also the you know, obviously the, the crappy things too so um, I'm gonna call that it for now I just want to say thanks again to all my subscribers uh, thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and, and telling other people about this um, you can follow me on Twitter at voice of the big JV follow me on twitch at stream the big JV and uh, I look forward to, to doing more of these videos thanks for watching see you guys